<laughs> I swear one day I'm going to be really good at not making sure I'm... Yeah. Hi. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? It's Cinnabamba on your resident DIYer at Flavor. Here's the scuff. I was literally talking to myself for a good minute. <laughs> Hi, stinkies. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Hi. <laughs> Okay, all right. Boomer! I know, I know, I know. <laughs> oh, I talk to myself all the time. Yelp. <laughs> Keeping it relatable for y'all. Okay. I'm going to put on some music in the background so you don't have to hear my weird mouth noises. <laughs> okay. There we go. Let's get something there. All right. Not you too. No, 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 no. I gotta keep stuff up. Did I miss you? Mm, I'm picking you. <laughs> Alrighty. So today we are going to be... <laughs> today we're going to be looking at your guys' projects. First of all, I want to take a little second to say thank you so much for submitting everything. Um, of course, as mentioned in the now... <laughs> Susanified video. Uh, I will hopefully be making this into a bit of a series. Uh, if you guys continue to submit stuff, I will continue to do the review. Um, yeah. Do I accept late submissions? Um, the latest I took was like 20 minutes before. I just wanted to make sure I had everything ready. Um, <laughs> But don't worry, it's not technically late. You can still submit stuff right now, and uh, we can look at it next month. Okay. Alrighty. <laughs> okay. Like a sippy sippy. I don't have alcohol this evening. I am drinking an iced vanilla latte. Okay. She's implying she'll be around for more than a month. Let's go, boys. Look, I'm not bringing an entire thing and then dipping out. What kind of dumb dumb does that? Uh, not to me. 110% for you guys. Okay. A vanilla latte. It's, <laughs> it gets worse. It's like um, the iced espresso drinks from Starbucks. It's like the bottle. I just got it on the gas at the gas station on the way home. I just knew I'd be a little tired. So, anybody have dinner recommendations, by the way? Because, like, I was supposed to eat something. <laughs> I made some chorizo and some frijoles and, like, was going to make a wrap. And I made some rice with a bay leaf and everything. And it smelled delicious. And then I was like, let me not have a bunch of beans before I stream. And now it just doesn't sound as good. So. <laughs> Fish tacos sound really amazing. Yeah, definitely. A chimichanga. That sounds good too. Oh man, I've been really like, <laughs> I've been really craving like, pizza is the Friday dish. I had pizza last night. I had um, chicken bacon ranch, CBR, and I drizzled some barbecue sauce on top. Throw meat and noodles in the instant pot. I don't have an instant pot. <laughs> I just have a rice cooker and um, a crock pot. I was going to say a slow cooker. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it is what it is, but yeah. <laughs> you had chicken fried rice tonight. That sounds amazing, Tomb World. Take that rice, poach an egg, and put it all in a tortilla with soy sauce and then some cold cut meat. I like ham. Mm. Get Cinna an instant pot. Should I add that to the throne? <laughs> I hate that it's called that. It's so weird. It feels like it feels like I'm a sugar baby. 
Diced peppers, ground beef, cheese, and a tortilla. Then you can pinch shut and fry or bake until hard. Almost like a crunch wrap. Crunch wrap supreme. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know if like, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Maybe I'll just have like some glamorized ramen. <laughs> some gourmet ramen. Do you what? DIY it. <laughs> Ugh, okay. Alrighty. Let's get into this, guys. I think I've waited just long enough to make sure that we are here. All of us are here. Okay. So, we're gonna move into the first one. Um, some of these are a little longer than others. Some of you submitted a crap ton of stuff. Um, I'm going to take, a, you know, an appropriate amount of time to review what you guys have gone through. <laughs> Excuse me, what you guys have been able to submit. All the things. I'll be judging you. Hardcore. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, maybe making light suggestions. Take all of my opinions with a grain of salt. It's just an opinion. Okay. Don't don't take it to heart. <laughs> Scratch mac and cheese only takes about half an hour. True, but I don't have a lot of cheese right now. I should probably go to the um, cheese producer store. Aircoy. Let's go. Okay. Okay. So, our first big old submission is from Agarest. <laughs> so, uh, he quoted this natural building project I did in Costa Rica before timber framing and waffle, uh, waddle and daub, adobe brick on one side. After, finished with poor man's tade, uh, tada. Tadlack, Tadlack, sorry, Tadlack on the interior. Eastern earthen, <laughs> ah, earthen plaster sculpture on the exterior and proper Tadlack for the backsplash. Wow, that was hard. Why was that so hard? <laughs> so, um, up here is gonna be the before, um, and then these are the afters. I am so impressed with like the imprints of the leaves and the flowers and it is really quite pretty. Um, I also like that it's all adobe brick. Uh, I know that'll help a lot with keeping the space cool. Yeah. Okay. 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 Agaris continued. Also worked on the bed frame, nightstands, and shelves after. Bonus, some signs. So uh, they made some bed frames. Uh, they look pretty solid, pretty solid. Um, I assume there's a canopy um, above. They did post the um, roof. Uh, I don't remember if I put it in the next slide or not. And then some signs. Hand painted, they're very cute. Uh, I think the only comment I would have to say is just be careful of your color theory. Um, the black on top of the blue can get a little lost, and then the same with the black on top of the red. Uh, normally, that red's just gonna jump right out first, so then you're looking at it going, What does that say? What does that say? So, yeah, that that's my only comment. Um, otherwise, it looks really sharp for now. Uh, I am wondering, is it, does it stay open here for the bedding? Like, I just wonder about the elements getting in and all that. And then it makes me think maybe the can the canopy's maybe a mosquito net. So I'm not, I'm not too sure. A lot of the submissions are like, like I just have to kind of like play a little bit of a guessing game. So that's like, I guess my only complaint. Okay. <laughs> Is this still agorist? I think it's still agorist. Um, I'm pretty sure this is still agorist. If not, I apologize if it's not. This might be... This is still agorist, right? <laughs> sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, I did an apprenticeship at a pre-permaculture farm in Costa Rica. This was a group project. Okay, it is still you. Okay, thank you. Um... This was a group project. It looks amazing. It looked all amazing. Imagine getting to go with a group to Costa Rica. That sounds really fun. I guess 
yeah. Anyway, so I will be your guide. So the top one right here is a before image of their enclosed patio, I believe. Um, from what I could tell when I zoomed in the picture, the floor was either a concrete slab or maybe carpet? Um... And then the bottom is going to be all the new tiling. Uh, he, they did say that um, they didn't get to do most like the tiling and electrical work, but they did so much work that like it just it's important to include it. Um, love the cute little table setup, and I assume these are sliding doors, which like really opens up the space and allows you to like really enjoy your garden, which is amazing. Um. And then here is, these two are going to be the pictures of the kitchen. So here's their like little, um, I don't know if it counts as like, it's not like a formal dining room, but like, just like, I guess where they put their kitchen table. Um, you can see that the tile was swapped out for either hardwood or veneer. And then, um, of course this is like, where they got to open up the space a bit. The kitchen is open. Um, personally, I I like a little more color. It's a little it's a little white and bright, but it looks a lot more open. Although I have wonder if um, this is beams or just a setup for popcorns. Uh, no, I think those are beams. I wish the beams were still there if they were solid wood anyways, because I just feel like that kind of stuff adds a lot of nice character, but that's just me. I also really like, I'm a big fan of like darker wood uh, finish detailing, but that's once again personal preference. And then here is, I believe, their entryway or their foyer, however you, <laughs> whichever one. Um, I don't think the railing was replaced. I think it was just uh, sanded and painted. Um, as you can see, their Christmas tree is out. Uh, they did post the stairs, but the staircase was gonna be the same flooring all throughout. So it's all gonna be that either wood or um, vinyl. And then of course their pretty little French door entryway, which looks to me like it's either plain white or it's gonna match their new wood floors. So yeah, they really opened up the space. I love their staircase because it's just so like open faced. It's just nice. And I feel like it finally matches the decor theme where it looks a little more contemporary. So like design style wise, it definitely matches up a bit more and isn't as mismatched. Um, it looks really nice and fresh and updated. I, I personally would love to see a little more color on the walls, but that's just me. I, I just don't like all white walls. So that's just me though. Okay, thank you so much for your submission, Agarist. It was really cool to go through all your things. I'm sure you'll submit more. <laughs> this is Ion. Um, so, literally the first woodworking thing I ever did, replacement stairs for my deck. They turned out pretty good, except the first support I cut, lol. And then I made this about two years ago as a present for my mom. It's a veggie holder slash dog food thingy. Very happy with it. And then on the side here, and I made this with my three-year-old nephew. Really easy, really simple, but we had a blast doing it. So the stairs look amazing. Um, I can't fully tell if it's a floating staircase or not, um, but it looks really cool. Uh, it looks pretty well built. Uh, the railing seems to be installed nicely. I don't know if it's like screwed into vinyl slabbing outside or if it's inside. Um, I, well, for your deck, so I suppose it's outside. I like to have another railing on the other side, but I'm also clumsy, so... <laughs> that's just... it's just me. <laughs> <laughs> beans instead of beams. Sorry, I can't enunciate. <laughs> Take a shot every time, she says, but that's just me. <laughs> Oh, you guys are gonna be very drunk by the end of it then <laughs> okay um so the dog food thing i thought that that was pretty interesting it makes me think of one of those like old um architectures desks i think where they just kind of fold open um it's really cool but i kind of wonder like is it good at 
holding a lot of dog food. The veggies make sense, but it looks on the smaller side. But maybe I, I just assumed that you would <laughs> buy um, dog food in bulk. So, uh, yeah, but it looks cool. I like the little extra filigree piece here, or I assume there was probably a handle at one point. Yeah. <laughs> don't make fun of the hicks! <laughs> and then the Christmas tree. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll enlarge it for just a second. Oops. Okay, so this is um, uh, uh, a star at the top. It's meant to be a little Christmas tree. It's really cute. Uh, it's, it's not the colors of a Christmas tree, but it's really cute. Um, my only thing is, I think it's like, it's weird because when I look at it, I'm like, that red is so bright. And then everything else is a little like, almost like a paint wash. So, but yeah, it's so cute. And I love that they were able to like get it done with their nephew and have like a little family bonding moment. Very wholesome, very sweet. A very tiny dog. <laughs> yeah, it's a great repurposing of wood. I assume it was made out of maybe even pallet wood. Um, which is a great way. Uh, when I was a little, little kid, my mom repurposed uh, pallet wood into a fence to block off um, the above ground pool. <laughs> Alrighty, next me. Okay, Tomb World also, like Agorist. <laughs> Submitted a lot. <laughs> Some of you guys are really handy. Really handy. Um, so, Tomb World says, Ugly bathroom remodeled. Replace leaking sea, uh, skylight. New drywall in the light well. Popcorn scraped off the ceiling. Seems to be a lot of popcorn ceiling issues going on. The replacement mirror slash lights. No blue paint. Switches upgraded and moved to inside the bathroom. Um, so there's their skylight. The they also showed like a corner here um, on their post where the skylight was leaking. Um, and they were really happy that they removed some of the paneling here to see that it was leaking so they could repair it. Which is great, I you know, it's such a good move to make sure you do like a full inspection before you do any of your DIYs, especially in your home, because then you're running the risk of like just covering over something. And you know, that leak could easily become, you know, lifted paint or a big air bubble or <laughs> a big old black mold infestation. So like, good on you, Tomb World. Nice shade of blue. I'm gonna have to agree to disagree agree to disagree it's very bright it's perfect for a bathroom i guess i don't know i guess for me in my mind i would just tile the whole thing but i also just have a very unique preference for design styles so it's not like <laughs> it's my preference <laughs> but yeah um they did switch out all of their light fixture um light switches and I was a little sad because some of them were like nice old ones which I like I also feel like sometimes these uh, little switches can sometimes get stuck especially if you have like younger kids in the house so like click it click 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 also you're gonna have to like wash into the crack take a toothpick my mom would make me go with the magic eraser and like clean the cracks from all my little siblings getting crud in there so <laughs> not fun <laughs> Um, they did something so, so freaking cool. So they took the windows, the, they were pretty awkward windows, like, into the next room. And they covered it. At first, when I first saw the picture, I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Why would you do that? You should have just knocked down the wall. <laughs> but then they made it into a built-in bookshelf almost like a craftsman style and I was like oh my gosh genius clap 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 because my mind would have been like knock it down destroy it it's demo time <laughs> but you said I can fix it 
like a true DIYer. Thank you. Thank you. Remodel complete. Added French doors with a sliding glass. Okay? Next. He also, or they, sorry, I'm not sure. I assume he <laughs> did a refurbished my deck. Um, I was so like, wow, so cool. So like, they were able to obviously make sure everything was nice and sturdy. Um, my mind immediately was like, oh wow, this person must live somewhere humid if they can have wood outside. <laughs> And then I was like immediately trying to figure out where this person lived. So clearly, I am not a good person. Please don't try to figure out where this person lives. It's a nice deck. It's a very nice deck. <laughs> um, you can see uh, the deck is finished in this last photo here. Uh, but, Tomb World. Let's see. Okay. Tomb World. Where the heck's your furniture? You got this nice new deck and no furniture. You're just sitting in a lawn chair like a noob what are you doing he at least and he at least has his grill set up although i mean there's plenty of room right here for a smoker and even off to the side here for a hot tub so you know a good start but get to it <laughs> you don't live there anymore wow <laughs> yoga deck get with the times yeah so i don't know um, just the one step down, my mind immediately goes, Sinna gonna fall. But, you know, I don't live there. And apparently you don't either. <laughs> Look, the debris hadn't even been cleared when I took the picture. So why'd you take the picture? <laughs> <laughs> okay, alrighty. Phoenix, Arizona. <laughs> you, that's the most humid place in the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one, Miliardo. Uh, first off, is that me? No, seriously, is that me? I'll wait. I got all day. Where you at? <laughs> wow yeah what the frick why you got me why you got me there <laughs> oh man uh you know put some stuff on his cross put sin on his cross sin is god confirmed um Love, uh, love all the gear. Miliardo, just your ordinary gear trick. Wait a minute, who's that? Built from the leftovers of Workbench Project and old socks. See the socks? See the socks? Socks, socks, socks. This was the workbench. Whole top can be popped off the saw. Horses for ease of movement. Originally built because I needed somewhere to mount a big ass vise for a barrel swap. Tonight's project is repairing Oral, the Young's rocking horse. See, he's a good papa. He repairs his children's toys while also playing with his own. <laughs> At least you're not in a jar. I would have to have a very long conversation with Minna if I was in a jar. <laughs> No, it's the other orange-eyed, bun-haired girl I know. What? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> so, um, it's a nice setup. Uh, makes me want to post my urn. <laughs> um, you know, love your military larp. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's a good pack. Uh. I feel like Miliardo would be the type of person to have a nice bug out bag. Looking forward to seeing that at some point. Um, I think he had mentioned somewhere that he like does his gunpla here too, but maybe I read it elsewhere. Maybe I'm just going bananas. But yeah, really great setup. Um, I'm interested what else is on your cross though. Like what's the blue? Did you paint a little sky? Anyways, 
Yeah, it's a good setup. It's a good setup for sure. I like the helmet. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what all the straps are for. <laughs> but yeah. So it's a good setup. <laughs> okay. Next meme. Haruki pre retour Here's the early build. Made the printer built itself better parts to improve itself. Um... <laughs> I'm so sorry. I remember when we first mentioned the DIY stuff, um, Haruki put in the chat. I do remember Haruki put in the chat um, that they were going to be submitting their 3D printer that they made themselves and that they were going to submit a video. I do have, like, I've viewed the video, um, but for now, this is what you guys can look at. I, I highly suggest you go check the Bond Project to look at it. Um, this is so freaking cool. <laughs> Chat, look at this. Look at this. So cool. So, so freaking cool. Um, literally made their printer print better parts. I mean, the freaking giga brain on this guy. Are you? Are you kidding me? It's orange. Oh my god, these people are so talented. Oh, you guys inspire me to be better, do better. Ah. Haruki, Haruki, I'm still attempting to make you into a figurine. Haruki. Put a W in the chat for Haruki, guys. Oh my god. God, so cool. I can't even imagine trying to put something like this together. But also, my brain is dumb. Like, look, at this. look at this. Look at this. Wires? Ow. <laughs> I made a printer that prints printers so you can print while you print. So cool. So freaking. You guys are all so talented. Much, much love. So much talent. Wow. <laughs> all right, John Chan. That's me. <laughs> Wires, how do they work? Seriously. <laughs> okay. <laughs> John Chan standing desk storage shelf retractable bed 4x8x36 bottom shelving stores up to 18 transparent Costco storage crates 76 inch spacing between legs allows bottom plywood sheet to serve as a retractable futon platform temp computer setup planning 75 inch wall mounted TV uh, so cool so like what what? Like, there's so many, like, mechanics in it. There's moving parts. And, like, although I will always, always go, I'm not standing at a desk. I've been standing all day. Much respect for the guys who can do it. So impressed. So very impressed. Also, like, like, I look at it and I'm like, oh, yeah, it's just a small desk, whatever. And then I read the measurements and I'm like, holy crap, that's huge. <laughs> And the cuts are really accurate, really great detailing. Um, my qualm, and you probably knew I was gonna do it. This corner, right here. If this corner match this corner. If this corner match this corner. Yeah, but that's it. That's it. That's it, you guys. Like, I know some of you, some of you noobs are gonna be like, he should finish it. He should seal it. That raw, uncut wood, the smell of it. It's, it's, it's falling down, it's sanded. You're not gonna get a splinter? Are you, you afraid of a splinter, chat? Are you afraid of a splinter? So cool. So, so cool. And a 75 inch mounted TV. Like I like just so cool. And then like I assume as a retractable futon, you've literally made your desk into your bed. You you've done it. You've fucking done it, John. 
You've fucking done it, John. John boy, you've done it. Ah, ha, ha. I think it's amazing. I think it's like, it's, it's innovation. You guys are innovative. All right, it's starting to sound like an Apple ad. Okay, next meme. <laughs> Why rock? I got what sound blue. I saw it. I knew as soon as it left my mouth, you guys were gonna said something about it. Okay, Roxanne Pipper. Okay, a moment, a moment. While I spaz out on the. Look at the baby. Look at it. It's so well loved. You can tell. You can tell. Roxanne Pepper, you can tell that this stuffy, this beautiful, cute little baby baby. Okay? The friend here is named Vulpix. Vulpix has been well loved for millennia. Okay? So, Roxanne Pepper, well, I have a few photos of them since I moved and had to take them off the wall. I made some shelves. One shelf is six feet long, one is four feet, and the small boy is two feet. Okay? Vulpix. So, six foot, four foot, two foot. Um, I assume that these p post little parts are prefab. That's just my assumption. Um, it like to me it just makes the most sense. But everything else looks very very nice. I'm super like, I love shelves. They really help in decorating your home. Because then you can actually put stuff up besides just pictures. Just pictures. So it's looking really good. Um, I would recommend decorating your shelves more. Roxanne. Looking a little sparse. Looking a little empty. <laughs> but you know. Yeah. Yeah. Personally, I like the stain. Um, I might have even took it a little darker to like a true walnut. Um, It looks a little cherry here. So... But yeah, it looks great. It looks really great. Uh, sad to see it on a white wall. Next meme! <laughs> Can our tin fox would secretly keep into adulthood? <laughs> no secretly! Keep all of your stuffies with pride. Okay, Maru... Triangle! Ding! Maru Illuminati? Maru Illuminati! Okay. Expanded a half bathroom into the adjacent dormer closet. The fuck is a dormer closet? Part of a total second floor remodel. Everything definitely done by a licensed and bonded professional. To me, this face right here is. Ooh, ooh. Okay, alright. Look at this. First of all, you had to rip up the flooring, you had to rip out the walls, you had to take it down to its bare bones right here, okay? Bare freaking bones. Okay? You have to take it all the way back to the studs. Then, I'm sure they had to do all the insulation, the drywall, the tiling. That's not even counting the price of doing the cabinetry, the appliances, even these small little details like a toilet, paper roll holder, all of those things. Oh my god, Maru, you're loaded! You're loaded! <laughs> but it looks really cool. Um, I like the way that you are able to work with the shape of the uh, ceiling and not let it work against you. Very impressive. Um, you know, even this, like the tile, I'm really just like spazzing out about the tile to be honest. I just love all the detailing, the little dots. I love the little black border. It's like so fun and it adds like just the right amount of pop of color without it being like, oh look, a white bathroom. And I can, I think the ceiling is painted like almost like a periwinkle dusk blue with that accent wall. It just looks very sharp, very, very, very sharp. And then the wood topped, Ah, the wood top sink, so pretty. And the faint, like the stain finish, such a good color. It's so warm. It like warms up the rest of the cool tone space, especially with that little gold accent. It like is a little playful with like the warm and the cool and yeah. And then 
I am so excited to see a t like a tiled shower. Not a marble slab, tiled. It just feels classic. It feels, it feels right. It feels right. Good job. Drywall and tile work, 10 out of 10. For sure, you guys. Nice tile design. Actually insane. Yeah, it's so impressive. It's very tastefully done. I agree. It's very tastefully done. Like, this is the bathroom I would go in and then not want to leave. And you know what my favorite part? I don't know if there is one. If there is, I don't want to know. I don't see a mirror. I don't see a freaking mirror. How awesome. Like, you just get to go and relax. Oh, shit. Duh. I was thinking of right here. If there's a mirror, obviously, right here. I'm so fucking dumb, bro. <laughs> I literally talked about the gold accent, ignored that it was a mirror. Oh, tell me why I literally... Okay. Sorry. So dumb. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, sorry. Shut up. Okay. Listen. Dumb runs in flavor. Leave me be. Anyways, rainfall shower. <laughs> rainwall shower. Rainfall shower. Look, don't don't talk about the. <laughs> Anyways, the point is, it's really nice. Great job, Maru. Okay. Eggman, Eggmanella, Eggman, Eggmanilla, Eggmania. Okay. My most recent hashtag bond project are a set of thin floating shelves above my computer setup and a 3D printing and 3D printing a new mic stand. Hmm. The computer, keyboard, foot pedal, and a lot of the internals of the Guitar Hero controller were also things I DIY'd, but less recently. Oh my god. Oh no, the music is snapping. It's so distracting. I gotta take these off. Okay. Alright. A set of thin floating shelves. You can see that here, or here. Um, obviously, the screws. The screws. I like the all monochrome setup. Love the pictures. Love your um, your CSI agents. And I assume a corgi, little corgi trio. I assume it's not a sheep just because it looks like a short loaf, which screams corgi to me. And then, um, I'm not entirely sure if these are skyscrapers, but I, based off of this, I don't know if they're printed or, um, Lego. But yeah. Mom, I'm on the telly! <laughs> okay. The mic stand, really cool. Uh, I love your little mic has that and the little wire, I assume, connected to it. Also, um, how the heck do you use a keyboard like that? What the heck, dude? What the heck, man? That's crazy. It's separated and, like, angled. Like, maybe it's just because my mittens are very small. I just cannot imagine being like... Brr. I can't. My hands are too small. I couldn't keep up. <laughs> <laughs> Lego skyscraper sets. Okay, I kind of thought so because like in this zoomed in picture it looked like Legos, but I was like, well, maybe maybe they 3D printed it. I don't know. But yeah, the mic stand's really cool. Um, a good mic stand usually is expensive, so like it's cool that you can just DIY. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> gaming purposes really because i feel like all you really need for gaming is just like not even the whole keyboard but yeah i, I get i get it i guess this <laughs> in his tiny small hands <laughs> stop don't <laughs> okay chris g my workstation where i strip legally acquired scrap wire based based nice it it's a little dark. It's a little dark. Clearly they're live streaming. Yeah. 
pretty sure that's my gorilla stream. Good job. Good job, Chris. Good job, Chris. <laughs> open up, open up. Listen. 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 No swatting. Okay. What the duck? Barbecue prep table. Um, so you can see the first image, the before, they got their level leveler. Leveler. To make sure it's nice and even, sitting flat. Little racks on the bottom. Uh, they use it in the exact way I thought they would, putting the charcoal on the bottom and all of their uh, ready to use tools on the top. Very, very, very cool. Um, I like that they made sure that the, you know, spot that they're putting all their charcoal and, uh, briquettes and stuff were painted black. Smart, <laughs> a smart choice, <laughs> for sure. Um, part of me wishes that they had, like, some wood pellets, some, like, actual piece of chunks of wood. But I understand not everybody's built to do the wood for their smokers. Um, obviously, all the other things, a little press, all the things. Very nice setup. Another person with a really cool screened in porch. <laughs> Must be nice to be a homeowner. Okay. Next. Very nice duck. Right. Okay. Glav San, Glav San. Um, I don't know if I pronounced it right the first way or the second way. Glave, Glave. Yeah. So, okay. So, because you said it was okay, here are some of my cooking adventures. Uh, they did not caption anything, but I'm really good at, um, like, guessing these. Glaive, okay, thank you. Uh, all of it looks so yummy. <laughs> I'm so hungry. <laughs> Why would you do this? <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing that this is going to be your mashed potato? You gonna tell me what it is? I thought this was gumbo over rice with cornbread, am I right? Shrimp and sausage gumbo. And then obviously this is like, um, some, a good cut of steak, a little veggie medley, and some mashed potatoes, right? Oh, it's definitely not skirt steak. That's definitely not a skirt. New York strip, I was about to say, looks like a strip. Nice big old fat cap right there. That's where all the deliciousness is stored. Okay. Uh, great job. Yeah, I was gonna say, I thought it was a chimichurri. Yeah. It looks... I'm not gonna lie, Glaive. It looks a little oily. But yeah, it's a good... It's a good setup. It looks delicious. Um, my question is with your gumbo. I, not even a question, just a compliment. It looks like you were able to get your roux nice and dark. Which, like, takes so much patience. So good on you, Glaive. It looks delicious. Um, and then I assume this is either a potato or corn chowder, but if I'm wrong, I also think it might be like a creamy garlic soup topped with cheese and bacon. I'm allergic to shellfish, but they are bugs of the sea anyways. I refuse to eat the bugs. What is with people and their shellfish allergies? Imagine being allergic to food. <laughs> it's a potato soup. Yeah, cool, cool, okay. And then my question is, is this like uh, fried rice or is it like sticky rice with tuna on top? And then I assume this is the egg tamago. Um, I assume that's egg tamago. Wow, cyberbullying. Get up! <laughs> but yeah, I like that's my assumption. It's sticky rice, tuna, sriracha mayo, and rice seasoning. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, furikake then? So it's like the tamago furikake? Because <laughs> I think it's the tamago, the, like the egg one, because of the little yellow flecks. Because like I have my furikake and it's just like, um,. Just a normal, like, bonito one. So. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, next meme. <laughs> Looks delicious. I'm starving. I'm not going to keep staring at it. Okay. Team Blue Plant. No, I don't have an alcohol problem. You do. 
Chile just produces a lot of wine. Okay, when I first saw it, he didn't capitalize Chile. I had to capitalize it for myself so I didn't go, Chow, Chow just produces a lot of wine. So yeah, <laughs> vamos Chile. <laughs> so um, if you guys can't tell, I will enlarge the image for you. It's ease. It's a bunch of corks spilling out of wine bottles with all the corks. It's a bunch of corks. My only thing is I'd love to see these be filled, but I assume they might become filled as they go through their bottles of wine. It looks fun. Um, the wine glasses look a little, a little frosty. I don't know if they're frosted wine glasses at that point. It makes sense, but otherwise they look a little hazy, but that might just be the picture quality. Sorry, <laughs> but it looks good. It looks cool. It's a really cool way to repurpose corks. So like, power to you. Re, reduce, reuse, recycle. <laughs> Alrighty, yo, yo. Whoa. All right. Okay, next meme, y'all. Oh, we're almost towards the end. Homeward stretch, stinkies. Okay. Okay, make sure I'm... Do, 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 do. Whoa, 3D art. Yo, yo. Chili, ja, ja, ja. <laughs> Ooh, the ramen. I know, I'm just leaving this up for you guys to feel hungrier and to appreciate. Sammy submitted this just like a tad before the stream just a tad and oh my oof. i was like already hungry before i started this and then i was like oh my god are you ringing kid what the so tonight i made ramen technically a diy correct sammy all ingredients from scratch tori miso with straight noodles now when he when the, he says ingredients from scratch i assume he made the noodles too which like just a dedication. Pork belly chashu and um, seasoned egg and leeks. So beautiful. So beautiful. And like so much leeks. Love the onion. All right. That looks amazing. I'm so hungry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Did he lay an egg himself? Of course. He said from scratch. Curious about the broth recipe? As am I. As am I. Tori Miso? I don't know why. I feel like... Obviously, that means something, you know, like, the Tori part's what's tripping me. Because I'm like, what is... What's Tori Miso? Like, I know Miso, but, like, Tori Miso? And I'm, like, impressed because, like, you know, someone will be like, I spent six hours doing tonkatsu. And you're like, that's amazing! But there's no love for the Miso broths. For the shoyu broths. So... Good, good job, Sammy. I'm hungry. I'm so... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next, Mimu. Mumber Thrax S. I made the little work table and everything on it, except the hardware, pencil and all. The pen holder was both the easiest and my favorite. Captain Blackie of Flash Featherhead. After, I couldn't decide, so I put up some of my smaller stuff together. I get more casual use. Out of the pen holder, though, Captain Blackie slash Featherhead from the Cinefan Discord. He doesn't have Twitter, so I'm posting these for him. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. So, obviously the pen holder. Very cool. Love that it's me. <laughs> Love that it's made out of a shotgun shell. Good job. Good job. Um, can't hold a lot of pens, I assume. But, you know, you only need one good working pen and pencil at a time. Love. Love this cute little setup. Um, I assume that that's leather? Which, leather working is so hard. Uh, so, like, genuinely good on you. Also, <laughs> Ina! <laughs> it's so cute. I wonder if you were able, I assume you put it here that you welded that. And like those cuts, the lines, they're all so clean. Good job. Very good job. <laughs> Does Cine lay eggs? No! Oh. 
<laughs> you just posted it for Captain. Okay. Okay. I can I give I fix, I fix. Okay. Good job. Um. Alright. Okay. So that is all the ones uh I had in time to put in. Um so thank you. Thank you so much. Um now I can take my time to focus completely on you guys for a sec. <laughs> I think you guys all did such an amazing job. Please continue using the hashtag and submitting more. I want to see so much more. It has been really cool just seeing the amount of talent um, that you guys possess. And, you know, as you've seen in the stream, that uh, there's anything and everything can count as a DIY. Keep it appropriate, of course. <laughs> Gotta add that segue. Um, and, you know, you can s submit your <laughs> cooking projects and make me feel starving. <laughs> Grug not start smart enough to make stuff. Oh no, don't say that, Grug. <laughs> okay. No DIY making babies. Yeah, we'll leave that to Miliardo and, and Minna. That's... Shh. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'll make you starving everything. Cooking is my only talent. I, you know, I used to say cooking was my only talent, but you know what? Always try to expand your horizons. You can always learn to do something new, and it's so much fun. Self improvement is also a DIY project. Of course it is. Of course it is. Does fixing random stuff with duct tape count as DIY? <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, is it actually fixed? <laughs> or is that just temporary? Oh yes, I can still submit my DIYs. Yes, yes, please continue submitting your DIYs. Yes. Um, stay tuned, you'll be redirected after the stream. Um, Ooh, one of my favorite little ghosties. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Eating duct tape is also a dare. No! <laughs> By the way, the wine and champagne corks are from a single year. No, I don't have an alcohol problem. Who are you lying to at this point, Team Blue Boy? <laughs> Who are you lying to? <laughs> People make some crazy stuff with duct tape, even clothes. True. Very true, Sleepy. Very true. Thank you for the stream. You're very welcome. Also, I posted a Korean chicken bonus round for my cooking. Maybe it'll be in the next month. Yes. Anything that didn't make it this time will make it into the next month. So, you know, if we have three hours of stuff to go through, I expect all of you fuckers to be here for it. <laughs> Leather is technically edible. I mean, it is an animal product, so I would assume it is technically edible. Although you will be chewing for a very long time. Sina, I really appreciate the streams being just long enough to enjoy, but not multi-hours long. <laughs> Been perfectly enjoyable so far. Thank you. I um, don't have the attention span for too, too long, so apologies. <laughs> I can barely sit through a Marvel movie. <laughs> I can barely sit through a movie. <laughs> I actually can't even go to the movie theaters because I talk too much. <laughs> fruit leather, yummy. Fruit leather. Fruit leather. That's a fruit roller. <laughs> leather was made out of plastic. What? No, that's a pleather, buddy. We don't support that in this house. <laughs> in a pinch, you can boil and eat your leather shoes. Add some salt. Yum, yum, yum. You can even make a makeshift spacesuit with duct tape. I believe that. I believe that. I believe in you guys. <laughs> Good work, everyone. I'm inspired to set up my DIY skills. Yes! Yes! It's a movement! <laughs> I've been putting off a refurbishment project, but this is the kind of motivation I need to get started on it. Yes! I would love to see more work from you, Toon World. Great work. Um, yeah, you guys are so cool. Wow. <laughs> 
movie. Sorry, for me, it's Vidya and internet culture. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. That's kind of where I'm at. Also, movies have become very dull as of late and repetitive. I feel like if I start a movie and it feels too similar to another movie, I end the movie. I want to DIY a 3D printer now. Yeah, I wish I could DIY a 3D printer, but I already own one, so. <laughs> Well, this is a good movie with Top Gun, sadly. The new one? You think so? Have you seen the anime Do It Yourself? I have. Yes, I have. Um, I am not fully caught up, so no spoilers. I've watched just a few of the episodes. I'm really behind on this season, but I also try to just let the entire season air. And then I'll watch through whatever everybody says is good and whatever piques my interest. Um, I have like a separate little conversation with the people who watch anime with, so yeah. Cinna is a 3D printer owner? Yes. 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 Um, I need to purchase like more, <laughs> more supplies to print more, but yeah. Quick spoiler chat. Yeah, spoil me. <laughs> I had too many siblings. I haven't gotten to be spoiled. What is that like? <laughs> And what does she print? Wouldn't you like to know, Fed Boy? <laughs> Mena, the new Top Gun was solid, was it? I haven't gotten to see it. I don't think I've seen anything new since uh 2020, maybe. You're my favorite DIY VTuber. Thank you. You're cute. Here, here, have a hundred dollars. What? What? Does the world work like that? Nah. Nah. I don't know how people don't feel guilty when people give out donations. Man, when this... When the... <laughs> when we can open up monetization, it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy because I feel like when people do donations or anything, I'm gonna be like, what? Uh, I don't even think I can be like, thank you! Thank you so much! I feel like I'll be like, oh my god, I'm not worthy! <laughs> ah! Oh my gosh! What? What? No, you didn't. There's no way. No, because now I have to look. What? What? I didn't think so. Alright. Whew! Got scared. <laughs> Just donated 100 US dollars. You scared me. You made me look, that's for sure. <laughs> oh my gosh, that scared the bejesus out of me. Oh, I would have felt so bad. I would like, oh my god, no, I'm not worth that. Please don't. <laughs> okay, all right. All right, guys. I'll have to ask Abigail. What do you mean? How to. How to go spoil me? We have to bribe you into saying a V2 for a little longer. <laughs> she has a dono link? Yep, yep. I have a, a throne in the description. Um, You can donate to my wood fund. <laughs> oh, wow. It's embarrassing. Whoa, okay. All right, sorry. Let me stop being a beggar. <laughs> Arms, arms for the poor. <laughs> okay, all right. Oh, a throne, yeah. By the way, given your sub numbers, can't you apply for monetization? Can I? I I'm pretty sure I have to meet a certain amount of watch hours first, so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. Ah, all right. I am going to redirect you. It's been wonderful chatting with you guys, going through your DIYs, and, uh, yeah, thank you so much. <sighs> it's been a good day, guys. Okay. You're welcome. You're going to the ghosty. You're going to the ghosty. You'll see. You'll see. Okay. Bye-bye-bye.